Samoa, officially the independent state of Samoa Samoan, Malo Sa Oloto Tuto Atasi O Samoa, Samoan, Samoa, IPA, Samoa and, until 4 July 1997, known as Western Samoa, is a country consisting of two main islands Savai'i and Upolu with four smaller islands surrounding the landmasses. The capital city is Apia. The Lapita people discovered and settled the Samoan Islands around 3,500 years ago. They developed a unique Samoan language and Samoan cultural identity. Samoa is a unitary parliamentary democracy with 11 administrative divisions. The country is a member of the Commonwealth of Nations. Western Samoa was admitted to the United Nations on 15 December 1976. The entire island group, which includes American Samoa, was called Navigator Islands by European explorers before the 20th century because of the Samoan seafaring skills. History Early Samoa New Zealand scientists have dated remains in Samoa to about 2,900 years ago. These were found at a Lapita site at Mulafanua, and the findings were published in 1974. The origins of the Samoans are closely studied in modern research about Polynesia in various scientific disciplines such as genetics, linguistics, and anthropology. Scientific research is ongoing, although a number of different theories exist, including one proposing that the Samoans originated from Austronesian predecessors during the terminal eastward Lapita expansion period from Southeast Asia and Melanesia between 2500 and 1500 BCE. Intimate socio cultural and genetic ties were maintained between Samoa, Fiji, and Tonga, and the Archaeological record supports oral tradition and native genealogies that indicate inter island voyaging and intermarriage between pre colonial Samoans, Fijians, and Tongans. Notable figures in Samoan history included the Tui Manwa line and Queen Salamasina. 15th century. Nafanua was a famous woman warrior who was deified in ancient Samoan religion. Contact with Europeans began in the early 18th century. Jacob Rajavine, a Dutchman, was the first known European to sight the Samoan Islands in 1722. This visit was followed by French explorer Louis Antoine de Bougainville, who named them the Navigator Islands in 1768. Contact was limited before the 1830s, which is when English missionaries and traders began arriving. <laughs> Samoa in the 1800s Christian missionary work in Samoa began in 1830 when John Williams of the London Missionary Society arrived in Sapapali'i from the Cook Islands and Tahiti. According to Barbara A. West, the Samoans were also known to engage in headhunting, a ritual of war in which a warrior took the head of his slain opponent to give to his leader, thus proving his bravery. However, Robert Louis Stevenson, who lived in Samoa from 1889 until his death in 1894, wrote in a footnote to history, Eight years of trouble in Samoa. The Samoans are gentle people. The Germans in particular began to show great commercial interest in the Samoan Islands, especially on the island of Upolu, where German firms monopolized copra and cocoa bean processing. 
The United States laid its own claim, based on commercial shipping interests in Pearl River in Hawaii and Pago Pago Bay in eastern Samoa, and forced alliances, most conspicuously on the islands of Tutuila and Manwa which became American Samoa. Britain also sent troops to protect British business enterprise, harbour rights, and consulate office. This was followed by an eight-year civil war, during which each of the three powers supplied arms, training and in some cases combat troops to the warring Samoan parties. The Samoan crisis came to a critical juncture in March 1889 when all three colonial contenders sent warships into Apia Harbour, and a larger scale war seemed imminent. A massive storm on 15 March 1889 damaged or destroyed the warships, ending the military conflict. The Second Samoan Civil War reached a head in 1898 when Germany, the United Kingdom, and the United States were locked in dispute over who should control the Samoa Islands. The Siege of Apia occurred in March 1899. Samoan forces loyal to Prince Tanu were besieged by a larger force of Samoan rebels loyal to Matafa Yosefo. Supporting Prince Tanu were landing parties from four British and American warships. After several days of fighting, the Samoan rebels were finally defeated. American and British warships shelled Apia on 15 March 1899, including the USS Philadelphia. Germany, the United Kingdom and the United States quickly resolved to end the hostilities and divided the island chain at the Tripartite Convention of 1899, signed at Washington on 2 December 1899 with ratifications exchanged on 16 February 1900. The Eastern Island Group became a territory of the United States the Tutuila Islands in 1900 and officially Manwa in 1904 and was known as American Samoa. The Western Islands, by far the greater landmass, became German Samoa. The United Kingdom had vacated all claims in Samoa and in return received one, termination of German rights in Tonga, two, all of the Solomon Islands south of Bougainville, and three, territorial alignments in West Africa. Topic: German Samoa, 1900 to 1914. The German Empire governed the Western Samoan Islands from 1900 to 1914. Wilhelm Solf was appointed the colony's first governor. In 1908, when the nonviolent Mao a Puel resistance movement arose, SOLF did not hesitate to banish the Mao leader Lauaki Namulaulu Mamoy to Saipan in the German Northern Mariana Islands. The German colonial administration governed on the principle that, there was only one government in the islands. Thus, there was no Samoan Tuyupiu king, nor an Ali'i Sili similar to a governor, but two Fatua advisors were appointed by the colonial government. Tumua and Puel traditional governments of Upolu and Savai'i were for a time silent, all decisions on matters affecting lands and titles were under the control of the colonial governor. In the first month of World War I, on 29 August 1914, troops of the New Zealand Expeditionary Force landed unopposed on Upolu and seized control from the German authorities, following a request by Great Britain for New Zealand to perform this great and urgent imperial service. New Zealand rule 1914 to 1962 From the end of World War 1 until 1962 New Zealand controlled Samoa as a class C mandate under trusteeship through the League of Nations then through the United Nations 
There followed a series of New Zealand administrators who were responsible for two major incidents. In the first incident, approximately one-fifth of the Samoan population died in the influenza epidemic of 1918–1919. Between 1919 and 1962, Samoa was administered by the Department of External Affairs, a government department which had been specially created to oversee New Zealand's island territories and Samoa. In 1943, this department was renamed the Department of Island Territories after a separate Department of External Affairs was created to conduct New Zealand's foreign affairs. In 1919, the Royal Commission of Inquiry into the epidemic concluded that there had been no epidemic of pneumonic influenza in Western Samoa before the arrival of the SS Talun from Auckland on the 7th of November 1918. The NZ administration allowed the ship to berth in breach of quarantine. Within seven days of this ship's arrival, influenza became epidemic in Upolu and then spread rapidly throughout the rest of the territory. The second major incident arose out of an initially peaceful protest by the Mao, which literally translates as strongly held opinion. A nonviolent popular movement which had its beginnings in the early 1900s on Savai'i, led by Lauaki Namulaulu Mamoy, an orator chief deposed by Solf. In 1909, Lauaki was exiled to Saipan and died en route back to Samoa in 1915. By 1918, Samoa had a population of some 38,000 Samoans and 1,500 Europeans. However, Samoans greatly resented New Zealand's colonial rule and blamed inflation and the catastrophic 1918 flu epidemic on its misrule. By the late 1920s, the resistance movement against colonial rule had gathered widespread support. One of the Mao leaders was Olaf Frederick Nelson, a half Samoan and half Swedish merchant. Nelson was eventually exiled during the late 1920s and early 1930s, but he continued to assist the organization financially and politically. In accordance with the Mao's nonviolent philosophy, the newly elected leader, High Chief Tupua Tomasezi Lilofi, led his fellow uniformed Mao in a peaceful demonstration in downtown Apia on 28 December 1929. The New Zealand police attempted to arrest one of the leaders in the demonstration. When he resisted, a struggle developed between the police and the Mao. The officers began to fire randomly into the crowd and a Lewis machine gun, mounted in preparation for this demonstration, was used to disperse the demonstrators. Chief Tomasezi was shot from behind and killed while trying to bring calm and order to the Mao demonstrators, screaming, "'Peace, Samoa!' Ten others died that day and approximately fifty were injured by gunshot wounds and police batons. That day would come to be known in Samoa as Black Saturday. The Mao grew, remaining steadfastly nonviolent, and expanded to include the highly influential women's branch. Topic: <inaudible> Independence, 1962. After repeated efforts by the Samoan independence movement, the New Zealand Western Samoa Act 1961 of the 24th of November 1961 granted Samoa independence, effective on the 1st of January 1962, upon which the trusteeship agreement terminated. Samoa also signed a friendship treaty with New Zealand. Samoa, the first small island country in the Pacific to become independent, joined the Commonwealth of Nations on 28 August 1970. 
While independence was achieved at the beginning of January, Samoa annually celebrates the 1st of June as its Independence Day. Travel writer Paul Thoreau noted marked differences between the societies in Western Samoa and American Samoa in 1992. In 2002, New Zealand's Prime Minister Helen Clark formally apologized for New Zealand's role in the events of 1918 and 1929. Topic nineteen ninety seven name change On the fourth of July, nineteen ninety seven, the government amended the constitution to change the country's name from Western Samoa to Samoa. American Samoa protested against the move, asserting that the change diminished its own identity. Topic Twenty First Century On the seventh of September two thousand nine, the government changed the driving orientation for motorists. Samoans now drive on the left side of the road, like in most other Commonwealth countries. This brought Samoa into line with many other countries in the region. Samoa thus became the first country in the 21st century to switch to driving on the left. At the end of December 2011, Samoa jumped forward by one day, omitting the 30th of December from the local calendar when the nation moved to the west of the international date line. This change aimed to help the nation boost its economy in doing business with Australia and New Zealand. Before this change, Samoa was 21 hours behind Sydney, but the change means it is now three hours ahead. The previous time zone, implemented on 4 July 1892, operated in line with American traders based in California. In June 2017, Parliament established an amendment to Article I of the Samoan Constitution, thereby making Christianity the state religion. Topic: Politics. The 1960 Constitution, which formally came into force with independence from New Zealand in 1962, builds on the British pattern of parliamentary democracy, modified to take account of Samoan customs. The national modern government of Samoa is referred to as the Malo. Fiamme Matafa Faumina Mulanuu II, one of the four highest ranking paramount chiefs in the country, became Samoa's first prime minister. Two other paramount chiefs at the time of independence were appointed joint heads of state for life. Tupua Tamasezi Maole died in 1963, leaving Malietoa Tanamafili II sole head of state until his death on the 11th of May 2007, upon which Samoa changed from a constitutional monarchy to a parliamentary republic de facto. The next head of state, Tuiatua Tupua Tamasezi Efi, was elected by the legislature on 17 June 2007 for a fixed five-year term, and was re-elected unopposed in July 2012. Tufuga Efi was succeeded by Valetoa Swalauvi II in 2017. The unicameral legislature the FONO consists of 49 members serving five-year terms. 47 are Matai title holders elected from territorial districts by Samoans, the other two are chosen by non-Samoans with no chiefly affiliation on separate electoral rolls. Universal suffrage was adopted in 1990, but only chiefs Matai may stand for election to the Samoan seats. There are more than 25,000 Matais in the country, about 5% of whom are women. The Prime Minister, chosen by a majority in the Fono, is appointed by the head of state to form a government. The Prime Minister's choices for the 12 cabinet positions are appointed by the head of state, subject to the continuing confidence of the Fono. 
Prominent women in Samoan politics include the late Lalu Fetu Amalamau Matafa from Lodafaga constituency, the wife of Samoa's first Prime Minister. Their daughter Fiame Naomi Matafa is a paramount chief and a long-serving senior member of cabinet. Other women in politics include Samoan scholar and eminent professor Iano Fanafila Tagaloa, orator chief Matatumua Maimoana and Safunatuuga Paga Neri as of 2016 the Minister of Communication and Technology. The judicial system incorporates English common law and local customs. The Supreme Court of Samoa is the court of highest jurisdiction. Its Chief Justice is appointed by the Head of State upon the recommendation of the Prime Minister. <inaudible> <inaudible> administrative divisions Samoa comprises 11 Itamalo political districts. These are the traditional 11 districts which predate European arrival. Each district has its own constitutional foundation based on the traditional order of title precedence found in each district's falupega traditional salutations. .The capital village of each district administers and coordinates the affairs of the district and confers each district's paramount title, amongst other responsibilities. For example, the district of Aana has its capital at Lulumoiga. The paramount title of Aana is the Tuiana. The orator group which confers this title, the Faliva House of Nine, is based at Lulumoiga. This is also the same for the other districts. In the district of Tuamasaga, the paramount title of the district, the Malietoa title, is conferred by the Falatuamasaga based in Afega. The eleven Itamalo are identified to be on Upolu 1. Tuamasaga 1. 2. Aana 3. Aiga Ila Tai 2. 4. Atua 3. 5. Vaa Ofanodi on Savai'i 6. Faasalaliaga Safatulafai seven Gaga Maga Saleala four eight Gagaifamaga Safotu nine Vasigano ASAU ten Satapati Satapati eleven Palali Vailoa one including the Faipule district of Siamu Two, including islands Monono, Apolima, and Nuulopa. Three, including the Alepata Islands and Nuusafae Island. Four smaller parts also on Upolu Salamumu, INCL, Salamumu UTA, and Lova villages. Topic: <laughs> Human rights. Major areas of concern include the under-representation of women, domestic violence and poor prison conditions. Homosexual acts are illegal in Samoa. Christian revival In June 2017, an act was passed changing the country's constitution to include a reference to the Trinity. As amended, Article 1 of the Samoan Constitution states that Samoa is a Christian nation founded of God the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. According to the diplomat, what Samoa has done is shift references to Christianity into the body of the constitution, giving the text far more potential to be used in legal processes." The preamble to the constitution already described the country as an independent state based on Christian principles and Samoan custom and traditions. Topic. 
Topic: Geography. Samoa lies south of the equator, about halfway between Hawaii and New Zealand, in the Polynesian region of the Pacific Ocean. The total land area is 2842 square kilometers, 1097 square miles, consisting of the two large islands of Upolu and Savai'i, which together account for 99% of the total land area and eight small islets. These are the three islets in the Apalima Strait Monono Island, Apalima and Nuulopa, the four Alepata Islands off the eastern end of Upolu Nuutele, Nuulua, Namua, and Fanuatapu, and Nuusafe'e which is less than one hectare two and a half acres in area and about 1.4 km .9 miles off the south coast of Upolu at the village of Veovai. The main island of Upolu is home to nearly three quarters of Samoa's population, and to the capital city, Apia. The Samoan islands result geologically from volcanism, originating with the Samoa hotspot which probably results from a mantle plume. While all of the islands have volcanic origins, only Savai'i, the westernmost island in Samoa, remains volcanically active, with the most recent eruptions in Mount Matavanu (1905–1911), Mata Ola Afi and Maga Afi (1725). The highest point in Samoa is Mount Silasili at 1858 meters, 6096 feet. The Salealoa lava fields situated on the central north coast of Savai'i are the result of the Mount Matavanu eruptions which left 50 square kilometers, 20 square miles of solidified lava. Topic Climate The climate is equatorial, monsoonal, with an average annual temperature of 26.5 degrees Celsius .7 degrees Fahrenheit and a rainy season from November to April. Savai'i is the largest of the Samoan Islands and the sixth largest Polynesian island after New Zealand's North, South and Stewart Islands and the Hawaiian Islands of Hawaii and Maui. The population of Savai'i is 42,000 people. <laughs> Ecology Samoa forms part of the Samoan tropical moist forests ecoregion. Since human habitation began, about 80% of the lowland rainforests have been lost. Within the ecoregion about 28% of plants and 84% of land birds are endemic. Economy. The United Nations has classified Samoa as an economically developing country since 2014. In 2017, Samoa's gross domestic product in purchasing power parity was estimated to be $1.13 billion US dollars, ranking 204th among all countries. The services sector accounted for 66% of GDP, followed by industry and agriculture at 23.6% and 10.4%, respectively. The same year, the Samoan labor force was estimated at 50,700. The country's currency is the Samoan Tala, issued and regulated by the Central Bank of Samoa. The economy of Samoa has traditionally been dependent on agriculture and fishing at the local level. In modern times, development aid, private family remittances from overseas, and agricultural exports have become key factors in the nation's economy. 
Agriculture employs two-thirds of the labor force and furnishes 90% of exports, featuring coconut cream, coconut oil, noni juice of the nanu fruit, as it is known in Samoan, and copra, outside of a large automotive wire harness factory Yazaki Corporation which ended production in August 2017, the manufacturing sector mainly processes agricultural products. Tourism is an expanding sector which now accounts for 25% of GDP. Tourist arrivals have been increasing over the years with more than 100,000 tourists visiting the islands in 2005, up from 70,000 in 1996. The Samoan government has called for deregulation of the financial sector, encouragement of investment, and continued fiscal discipline. Observers point to the flexibility of the labor market as a basic strength for future economic advances. The sector has been helped enormously by major capital investment in hotel infrastructure, political instability in neighboring Pacific countries, and the 2005 launch of Virgin Samoa a joint venture between the government and Virgin Australia then Virgin Blue. In the period before German colonization, Samoa produced mostly copra. German merchants and settlers were active in introducing large-scale plantation operations and developing new industries, notably cocoa bean and rubber, relying on imported laborers from China and Melanesia. When the value of natural rubber fell drastically, about the end of the Great War, World War I, the New Zealand government encouraged the production of bananas, for which there is a large market in New Zealand. Because of variations in altitude, a large range of tropical and subtropical crops can be cultivated, but land is not generally available to outside interests. Of the total land area of 2,934 square kilometers (725,000 acres), about 24.4% is in permanent crops, and another 21.2% is arable. About 4.4% is Western Samoan Trust Estates Corporation (WSTEC). The staple products of Samoa are copra, dried coconut meat, cocoa bean for chocolate, and bananas. The annual production of both bananas and copra has been in the range of 13,000 to 15,000 metric tons, about 14,500 to 16,500 short tons. If the rhinoceros beetle in Samoa were eradicated, Samoa could produce in excess of 40,000 metric tons, 44,000 short tons of copra. Samoan cocoa beans are of very high quality and used in fine New Zealand chocolates. Most are Criollo Fastero hybrids. Coffee grows well, but production has been uneven. WSTEC is the biggest coffee producer. Rubber has been produced in Samoa for many years, but its export value has little impact on the economy. Other agricultural industries have been less successful. Sugarcane production, originally established by Germans in the early 20th century, could be successful. Old train tracks for transporting cane can be seen at some plantations east of Apia. Pineapples grow well in Samoa, but beyond local consumption have not been a major export. 60% of Samoa's electricity comes from renewable hydro, solar, and wind sources, with the remainder from diesel generators. The Electric Power Corporation has a goal of 100% renewable energy by 2021. Topic: Demographics. Samoa reported a population of 194,320 in its 2016 census. About three quarters of the population live on the main island of Upolu. Topic: 
Ethnic groups 92.6% of the population are Samoans, 7% Uranesians people of mixed European and Polynesian ancestry and 0.4% are Europeans, according to the CIA World Factbook. Only the Maori of New Zealand outnumber Samoans among Polynesian groups. Languages. <laughs> <laughs> Further information: List of Polynesian languages. Samoan, Gagana Faasamoa, and English are the official languages. Including second language speakers, there are more speakers of Samoan than English in Samoa. Samoan Sign Language is also commonly used among the deaf population of Samoa. To emphasize the importance of full inclusion with sign language, elementary Samoan Sign Language was taught to members of the Samoa Police Service, Red Cross Society, and public during the 2017 International Week of the Deaf. Religion Since 2012, Article 1 of the Samoan Constitution states that Samoa is a Christian nation founded of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Samoans' religious adherence includes the following Christian Congregational Church of Samoa 31.8%, Roman Catholic 19.4%, Methodist 15.2%, Assembly of God 13.7%, The Church of Jesus. Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints 7.6%, Seventh-day Adventist 3.9%, Worship Center 1.7%, Other Christian 5.5%, Other 0.7%, None 0.1%, Unspecified 0.1% 2011 estimate the head of state until 2007, His Highness Malieto Atanamafili II, was a Baha'i. Samoa hosts the seventh of nine current Baha'i houses of worship in the world, completed in 1984 and dedicated by the head of state. It is located in Tiapapada, 8 km 5 miles from Apia. Education The Samoan government provides eight years of primary and secondary education that is tuition free and is compulsory through age 16. Samoa's main post secondary educational institution is the National University of Samoa, established in 1984. The country is also home to several branches of the Multinational University of the South Pacific and the Oceania University of Medicine. Education in Samoa has proved to be effective as a 2012 UNESCO report stated that 99% of Samoan adults are literate. Topic: Culture The Fa'a Samoa, or traditional Samoan way, remains a strong force in Samoan life and politics. Despite centuries of European influence, Samoa maintains its historical customs, social and political systems, and language. Cultural customs such as the Samoa Ava ceremony are significant and solemn rituals at important occasions, including the bestowal of matai, chiefly titles. Items of great cultural value include the finely woven e. toga. Samoan mythology includes many gods with creation stories and figures of legend such as Tagaloa and the goddess of war Nafanua, the daughter of Savaziulio, ruler of the spirit realm Pelotu. Other legends include the well-known story of Sina and the eel which explains the origins of the first coconut tree. Some Samoans are spiritual and religious, and have subtly adapted the dominant religion of Christianity to fit in with Fa'a Samoa and vice versa. 
Ancient beliefs continue to coexist side by side with Christianity, particularly in regard to the traditional customs and rituals of Fa'a Samoa. The Samoan culture is centered around the principle of Vafiloa, the relationships between people. These relationships are based on respect, or fa'aloalo. When Christianity was introduced in Samoa, most Samoan people converted. Currently 98% of the population identify themselves as Christian. Some Samoans live a communal way of life, participating in activities collectively. Examples of this are the traditional Samoan fail houses, which are open with no walls, using blinds made of coconut palm fronds during the night or bad weather. The Samoan Shiva dance has unique gentle movements of the body in time to music and tells a story, although the Samoan male dances can be more snappy. The Sasa is also a traditional dance where rows of dancers perform rapid synchronized movements in time to the rhythm of wooden drums or rolled mats. Another dance performed by males is called the Fatopati or the slap dance, creating rhythmic sounds by slapping different parts of the body. This is believed to have been derived from slapping insects on the body. The form and construction of traditional architecture of Samoa was a specialized skill by Tufuga Fai Fail that was also linked to other cultural art forms. Topic: <tattooing>, Tattooing. As with other Polynesian cultures, Hawaiian Tahitian and Maori with significant and unique tattoos, Samoans have two gender-specific and culturally significant tattoos. For males, it is called the pea and consists of intricate and geometrical patterns tattooed that cover areas from the knees up towards the ribs. A male who possesses such a tattoo is called a sogaimiti. A Samoan girl or tain is given a malu, which covers the area from just below her knees to her upper thighs. <inaudible> Contemporary culture Albert Wendt is a significant Samoan writer whose novels and stories tell the Samoan experience. In 1989, his novel Flying Fox in a Freedom Tree was made into a feature film in New Zealand, directed by Martin Sanderson. Another novel Sons for the Return Home had also been made into a feature film in 1979, directed by Paul Maunder. The late John Newbull, born in American Samoa, was an accomplished playwright and screenwriter and writer. Sia Figiel won the 1997 Commonwealth Writers' Prize for Fiction in the Southeast Asia – South Pacific region with her novel, Where We Once Belonged. Momo Malietoa von Reich is an internationally recognized poet and artist. Tuziata Avia is a performance poet. Her first book of poetry Wild Dogs Under My Skirt was published by Victoria University Press in 2004. Dan Talapapa McMullen is an artist and writer. Other Samoan poets and writers include Sapau Ruparek Petaya, Eti Saaga and Savia Sano Malifa, the editor of the Samoa Observer. In music, popular local bands include the Five Stars, Panina o Tiafau and Punialava. The Yandel Sisters cover of the song Sweet Inspiration reached number one on the New Zealand charts in 1974. King Kapisi was the first hip-hop artist to receive the prestigious New Zealand APRA Silver Scroll Award in 1999 for his song Reverse Resistance. The music video for Reverse Resistance was filmed in Savai'i at his villages. 
Other successful Samoan hip hop artists include rapper Scribe, Dei Hamo, Savage, and De Feelstyle, whose music video Suamalie was filmed in Samoa. Lemmy Ponifacio is a director and choreographer who is prominent internationally with his dance company Mao. Neil Iremia's company Black Grace has also received international acclaim with tours to Europe and New York. Hip hop has had a significant impact on Samoan culture. According to Katerina Martina Tiaiwa, PhD from the University of Hawaii at Manoa, hip hop culture in particular is popular amongst Samoan youth. As in many other countries, hip hop music is popular. In addition, the integration of hip hop elements into Samoan tradition also testifies to the transferability of the dance forms themselves", and to the "...circuits through which people and all their embodied knowledge travel." Dance both in its traditional form and its more modern forms has remained a central cultural currency to Samoans, especially youths. The arts organization Tatai is a collective of visual artists including Fatu Fiu, Johnny Penasula, Shigeyuki Kahara, Michelle Tuffery, and Lily Lida. Director Sima Yuroli is an award winning filmmaker. Yuralee's short film O Tamaiti won the prestigious Best Short Film at the Venice Film Festival in 1996. Her first feature film Apron Strings opened the 2008 NZ International Film Festival. The feature film Sioni's Wedding, co-written by Oscar Keitley, was financially successful following premieres in Auckland and Apia. The 2011 film The Orator was the first ever fully Samoan film, shot in Samoa in the Samoan language with a Samoan cast telling a uniquely Samoan story. Written and directed by Tusi Tomasesi, it received much critical acclaim and attention at film festivals throughout the world. Sport. The main sports played in Samoa are rugby union, Samoan cricket and netball. Rugby union is the national football code of Samoa. In Samoan villages, volleyball is also popular. Rugby union is the national sport in Samoa and the national team, nicknamed the Manu Samoa, is consistently competitive against teams from vastly more populous nations. Samoa has competed at every Rugby World Cup since 1991, and made the quarter-finals in 1991, 1995 and the second round of the 1999 World Cup. At the 2003 World Cup, Manu Samoa came close to beating eventual world champions, England. Samoa also played in the Pacific Nations Cup and the Pacific Tri-Nations. The sport is governed by the Samoa Rugby Football Union, who are members of the Pacific Islands Rugby Alliance, and thus, also contribute to the International Pacific Islanders Rugby Union team. At club level, there is the National Provincial Championship and Pacific Rugby Cup. They also took home the Cup at Wellington and the Hong Kong Rugby Sevens in 2007 for which the Prime Minister of Samoa, also Chairman of the National Rugby Union, Tuilaepa Silele Malalegawi, declared a national holiday. They were also the IRB World Seven Series champions in 2010 capping a year of achievement for the Samoans, following wins in the US, Australia, Hong Kong and Scotland Sevens tournaments. Prominent Samoan players include Pat Lamb and Brian Lima. In addition, many Samoans have played for or are playing for New Zealand. Rugby league is mostly played by Samoans living in New Zealand and Australia. Samoa reached the quarter-finals of the 2013 Rugby League World Cup, the team comprising players from the NRL and Super League plus domestic players. 
Many Samoans and New Zealanders or Australians of Samoan descent play in the Super League and National Leagues in Britain, including Francis Melly, Taan Lavalavu of Workington Town, Mori Faasavalu of St Helens and David Fatialofa of Whitehaven and Setima Sa who signed with London Irish Rugby Club. Other noteworthy players from NZ and Australia have represented the Samoan national team. The 2011 domestic Samoan Rugby League competition contained 10 teams with plans to expand to 12 in 2012. Samoans have been very visible in boxing, kickboxing, wrestling, and sumo. Some Samoan sumo wrestlers, most famously Musashimaru and Kanishiki, have reached the highest rank of Ozeki and Yokozuna. American football is occasionally played in Samoa, reflecting its wide popularity in American Samoa, where the sport is played under high school sanction. About 30 ethnic Samoans, many from American Samoa, currently play in the National Football League. A 2002 article from ESPN estimated that a Samoan male either an American Samoan or a Samoan living in the mainland United States is 40 times more likely to play in the NFL than a non-Samoan American. See also Outline of Samoa